Okay, there's been a lot of mis misinformation about COVID-19 vaccines in pregnant women. Here to help set the record straight is Dr. Drew Moffitt of Arizona Reproductive Medicine Specialist. Good morning, doctor. How Good are morning. you? Good. So before we came on, uh, you and I were talking that a lot of uh, misinformation, a lot of, um, how could I say, scary stuff has been said. And it's all because a lot of this Facebook places that people go to get the information. We know there's mom groups on Facebook and there's pregnancy Facebook groups and everything. And they're throwing up information that kind of like is not true. And that's where we're here to set the record straight because it's very important about um, COVID-19 and the vaccine and pregnant women. So let's talk a little about some of the things you want to talk about. One was that everybody's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think one of the biggest things is there's this idea that it'll make you infertile and that causes a lot of people not to get the vaccine in the first place. And I think uh, there's a lot of information coming out now that just says that's just not the case. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's talk about the, the COVID-19 vaccine with people who are looking to, of course, reproduce and looking to have children and stuff. Um, is it safe to get? Is it okay to have? We think it is. I mean, uh, there's been now thousands and thousands of people who have gotten the vaccine and gotten pregnant. So that's really good news. But just last month, a study came out where they objectively looked at people who had antibodies because of the vaccine. And then they did infertility treatments to see if they had different rates of getting pregnant. And they both got pregnant at the same rate. So we are really confident now with good studies that it doesn't cause infertility. Yeah. Let's talk about what the Arizona Reproductive uh, Medicine Specialists do, because this is where you guys are there to help people um, have families. Sure. Well, one of the things I do every day is have to answer the question, should I get the vaccine? And then they get pregnant, and should I get the vaccine? And so the first thing is a lot easier to get the vaccine before you're pregnant, because then you don't have to worry about anything, right? But when you're pregnant, then the question is, is well, should I get it now or wait? Pretty much we think you should get it now, because we know pretty clearly that the, the virus, the infection, causes uh, worse things in pregnancy. You get sicker when you are pregnant and get the COVID. Yeah, and that's something also where we were saying everyone's different, and that's why they should come sit down and talk with you because what happens to one person might not be the same to you, and that's where you can discuss the things. And so it's, it's kind of like a lot of people have been a little scared, as you said, um, about getting the uh, vaccine, um, but you're seeing that it's working. You're seeing that people who are getting it are getting pregnant and people who are pregnant are, are having very healthy uh, children. Yeah, yeah, so the, the scary thing is if you are uh, pregnant and then get it, what do you do? And, and it's better just to avoid that whole conversation by getting the vaccine ahead of time. So yeah. um, are you seeing, as you said, people are getting a little sicker. Is it just still just uh, a little heavier of the, of the symptoms that someone who was not pregnant having? No, the issue is if you have symptoms and you're pregnant, then your chance of having a really bad outcome like dying or being in the intensive care unit or being on a ventilator, that happens more commonly in people who are pregnant and get sick. So people who don't get any symptoms seem not a big deal, but if you get symptoms, it can be a big deal. Yeah. And, and let's make sure people understand too is that this is why they come see you to talk to you about prevention of, of any type of reproductive um, things that you're doing in medicine and trying to and, and to stay off the Facebook so much than trying to get those information. What's some of the things you do see that are out there that, that's kind of scaring people? Well, I think one of the big things that is a concern is that you get a fever. A lot of people have heard if you get the vaccine, then you might get a fever and then the fever could hurt your pregnancy. Uh, you can take Tylenol, Tylenol is safe and that can control it most of the time. Um, but uh, that's the biggest concern people have is, gee, because everybody's, everybody's had a friend who's gotten the vaccine and they've got a fever, right? Yeah. So, but you can treat that with Tylenol and Tylenol is very safe. So, um, what are some uh, other things that you recommend people to do if they, they are looking to get the vaccine and they're pregnant? And, and what's some things you recommend um, not to do? Well, probably getting the vaccine that's the mRNA vaccine, not the Johnson & Joggers vaccine. That's pretty much people recommend that because it seems to not have some of the other complications. So getting that one is probably the best one to do. And then just get it sooner rather than later. Yeah. So, and, and also remind them to come see a doctor, talk with them. Um, and the best part is that you're there uh, for them all and your team is. So mm -hmm. tell them where they can find out more information from, uh, of course, Arizona Reproductive Medicine Specialists. Well, our website, ArizonaFertility.com, you can find out pretty much everything there. We've got a great website that tells you what to do, how to get pregnant, and if you need treatment, what we can do for you. Perfect. Doctor, thank you, Thank you.